And Leonard Scott who took one 100 yards for a touchdown two weeks ago against Georgia. Is waiting for it. Takes the short kickoff from the 10. Right up the middle across the 30 and down at the 31. Second and six. Eric Parker, the motion man. Here's Jamal Lewis. Straight ahead to the 40-yard line. Revamp secondary. Kelf Bailey starts a corner today with Milo Lewis, Miles, and Dixon. Are right, the safeties. Alabama last in the SEC in defense. And Lewis bursts through for a first down. David Leverton, the junior punter, has had a good year punting, 42 yards per punt. This is high and wobbly and short, but it takes a Tennessee bounce and goes out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Led the Bama offense to a turnover-free performance against Ole Miss. Quick hitter to Freddie Millens. He's emerged as a threat. He fumbled, but it went out of bounds. Third down and 12 out of the spread. Low snap. Handled by Zao. Under pressure, the dump off to Alexander. He's going to have to do it himself. And he came up about a yard and a half short at the 46, where Eric Westmoreland stopped him. Breeze at the back of Morgan. Deion Grant back for the punt. The hit at the 18. Roll to the 17, and it's down there. He's only had one game over 100 this season, but he really looked like we used to see him run north and south with a lot of explosion. Four straight games without reaching 100 for Lewis. He did have more than 100 in the opener against Wyoming. A low throw and a good catch by Neil Johnson. That's just the second career catch for Johnson, his first since 1997. He had an 11-yard grab against Georgia. There's Lewis again on first down out to the 37. Kendall Moorhead wrapped him up. Four carries, 18 yards for Jamal. No score, first quarter. Second and four, the pump fake, the throw to the sideline, and it is caught! Batted around and caught by Parker. Philip Fulmer knows all about this great rivalry. Played in it, was an assistant coach in it, now the head coach. He grew up in Winchester, Tennessee, right along the Alabama border. A lot of Bama fans nearby. Leverton trying for the coffin corner, and he has it at the one-yard line. Second down. Almost 10 to go. Tim Bowens comes in at wide receiver. Alexander took the deep pitch. First down out near the 17-yard line. He's out with a lot of time. Throws to Alexander with a nice tackle by Eric Westmoreland. Patrick Morgan's first spot. Not all that special with the breeze. 37 yards. Flag down on the play, line drive punt. Well, Piker back to the 25, and he's tackled by Sean Ray. Defense, offside, five yards, the first down. That'll give them a first down. It was fourth down and less than a yard. First down, Bama now at the 31-yard line. No score under three minutes left in the first quarter. The pitch to Alexander, following McClintock. First down and more. Andrew Zao, five out of six passing for 32 yards. Third down and five. He throws, caught by Jason McAdley. Get belted very close to a first down. 86,869 at Bryant Denny Stadium. Tennessee playing here for the first time since 1930. On second down, Freddie Millens picks up the first down and more. Three of the seven catches for Terry Jr. came in one game against Houston. On the blitz, Al dumps it off for Alexander, lots of running room. Touchdown! Third and 11, deafening noise from the record crowd. Martin stripped to the ball by Kenny Smith. The T got it back. And he went right around Coleman and got the sack and the strip. David Leverton with the punt. Fair catch called for and made by Freddie Millens. At the 26-yard line, a 46-yard punt by Leverton. Morgan punting into the breeze now, and Eric Parker returned to punt 69 yards for a touchdown in their one-point win against Memphis. Is back for the punt for the ball. Bad punt. 
Nearly hit Sean Toure. And it goes out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Play action fake to Henry. Martin throws to the far sideline. Bama coaches saying it was an incomplete pass, but they're going to rule it a catch to the 44. Third down, a very short four. Martin with all of that and then some. Inside the 20. Henry remains the tailback. Will Bartholomew the fullback. He follows Bartholomew. And Henry is down near the nine. Looks to be about a half yard short of the first down. Philip Crosby the fullback now. Henry again. Close to the first down. Marvin Constant made the tackle. They are likely going to have to bring on the chains for this one. They have Lewis in with Philip Crosby. And Will Bartholomew lined up to the right. Lewis up and over for the first down. Second and goal. Henry remains the tailback. Might in the play action thing. His running room. That's a block for Neil Johnson and scores a touchdown. They didn't score a lot of points that year, but they played great defense. Ended up beating Miami in the Fiesta Bowl. Andrew Zow out of the gun on second down. Nice leaping catch by Millens. He lunges toward the 45. Close to a first down. Alexander picks up the first down and breaks free to the 35 of Tennessee. He's got to use the snap count a little better. 12 carries, 57 yards for Alexander. Zow under pressure from Will Overstreet. Dumped it off incomplete short of Antonio Carter. And now Zow is not getting up. I'd throw it to the end zone. I mean, it, it, the worst case scenario, it's like a punt. He is... Tripped up, they got him around the ankles and he stumbled back to the 40 yard line, but it's a sack for Tennessee. 7-7 game, 127 left in the half. Tennessee has all three of its timeouts left. There's a better effort by Morgan. Can they get it at the one? No, they dropped it into the end zone. Matthews fills the time and ends the half. Alabama took the lead on a 26-yard touchdown pass. Zow to Alexander. And Tennessee tied it on the six-yard touchdown run by T. Martin. Here's Michelle. Patrick Morgan to punt for the fourth time. Eric Parker back at his 37. Morgan kicking into the blues. It died down a bit, but still not a very good punt. Down at the 43-yard line by Victor Ellis. The T. Martin in the quarterback. Lewis gain one. Here comes the blitz. And they get Martin. That was timed perfectly. Miguel Merritt across the line of scrimmage. The Tennessee sideline thought he was across the line too quickly. Third down and 12. They show a three-man rush. Lewis runs through the defense. First down, Tennessee. Down to the 43 of Alabama. Marcus Spencer made the tackle. They fake it to 31. Martin going for the deep ball, and it is caught! Touchdown, Tennessee! David Martin! Old Tennessee touchdown drive set up by Short Morgan Ponce, and here's another. Bounce near midfield. And Morgan's starting to hear the boos. That's a 29-yard punt out of bounds at the 45. And a nice play by Spencer, who was taken out of the starting lineup last week. Lost his starting job at safety. Reggie Miles was moved inside. Leverton. Wow, what a punt that is. High and booming. And into the end zone. They've had several guys that have stepped up and provided leadership. Still have not allowed a rushing touchdown this season. There's a first down. Down to Freddie Millens. Out to the 36. Mickey Allen comes in in the nickel and dime situations. Made the tackle after a gain of 13. 
He had a torn left ACL in high school. Yep. Had some teams recruiting him back away as he was heading into his senior year. He did not play his entire senior year. Got into only four games. Alexander pulled down by D'Angelo Lloyd. Under the youngest of eight children. He lost it as he turned a pitch or fake a pitch perhaps. And Radock Thompson and Sean Ellis were right there. Zao had to pounce on it very quickly. He's had a 30-yard punt, a 28-yard punt, and another 30-yard punt today. This isn't good. Fair catch made by Eric Parker. That's a 27-yard punt. And in with two straight games of 100 yards receiving or more. Travis Henry in at the tailback position. There's a catch for Wilson. Out of bounds with a first down. Two receivers getting good blocks downfield. Here's Travis Henry across midfield. And down at the 48-yard line. There's Leverton punting to Millens. Aiming for the corner. In contrast to Morgan, Leverton's had a terrific day punting, but that one skipped into the end zone. Three receivers to the right. Now the tight end, Jones, in motion to left. Alexander burst through. Sean Alexander out to the 37-yard line. He's on the sideline catching his breath. Alexander fake the handoff to Antonio Carter. First down. It would appear for Alabama. Morgan to punt. The deep man's only 30 yards off the line of scrimmage. This is a better kick. It drives Parker back inside the 20. And he's taken down to the 22-yard line. A 37-yard punt and a 5-yard return. Leverton to punt. Ten men up on the line. They come after it. And they didn't get it. Millens from the 34. Dancing back to the 34. Well, no yardage on the return after a 41-yard boot. Well, Morgan has the wind at his back now. And that helps. Parker went back to the 15. He retreats back to the 15 and gets belted down. Herschel Bolden had help from Jeremy Walker. Lewis needs three more yards to move into the top five in Tennessee rushing history and pass Reggie Cobb. The ball dangerously juggled by Wilson, and he's thrown for a loss by Reggie Miles. On third and 14, Martin is going to try to run for it. First down, Tennessee. With that run, Jamal Lewis has moved past Reggie Cobb into the top five in career Rushing yards at the University of Tennessee. Short drop by Martin. The completion made, and Cedric Wilson has the first down. Wilson was a high school quarterback in Memphis at Melrose High. Salim Rashid, Cornelius Griffin pulled down Lewis. For Cedric Wilson. His possession started at the Volunteers' 16 yard line. Lewis. Trying to get outside, delivers the stiff arm again, picks up the first down. Reggie Miles finally able to pull him down. Inside hand off to Lewis. And a short game to the 45. After the play is over, first and foul against the offense, 15 yards, third down. They lean heavily on the run today. They set up the wide receiver screen to Cedric Wilson. Good call. He might go. Out of bounds. The last man with a chance was Tony Dixon, who took the angle. Big plays on this drive. The third down conversion by T. Martin. The pass play to Wilson. Here's Martin inside the 10, inside the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. The kind of drive you see from a championship team. Martin, playing with a leg injury, has had a good second half. Third and ten. They blitz again. Chamari Buchanan made the catch. The defender fell down. And it's a first down for Bama. Down to the 40. Andre Lott got back on his feet to make the tackle. They're looking for a possible fake. Fair catch called for and made by Eric Parker. 
At the 18, a 39-yard kick by Morgan. There's John Chavis, the defensive coordinator for Tennessee. Deservedly getting more and more recognition for his outstanding abilities with the performance of this Tennessee defense in recent years. They've been terrific today. Jamal Norris, burst of speed. Finally forced out of bounds by Reggie Miles. Second and five, Travis Henry now in a tailback. Lewis gets a breather. Henry cuts inside. And it looks like this Tennessee offense is finally starting to get in a little bit of a rhythm. Rejection starting to show on the face of Sean Alexander. It was teamed down by 14. First and 10. Martin with a safe pass. Kevin Crosby, the fullback. That Warren coach Denardo C. In Baton Rouge. Travis Henry for another first down. Jason Jones and Reggie Miles combined on the stop. How far they've come and how far they need to go as a program. Henry cuts inside. Looks like a very tired defense now. Absolutely. Tennessee's now rushed for 207 yards as a team. Flag down. Second and short. And Henry stopped at the five, but there is a flag. Offsides, defense, five, half the distance penalty, but a first down. And they, they're taking on an Alabama team, particularly an offense that really was on a roll coming in with three straight wins against ranked opponents, 400 yards of offense in every game. The ball came out. Henry fumbled. Alabama has the ball. Did it go out of bounds? No, it did not. It was saved along the sideline right. by Miles. Even though this is a man-for-man -man defensive team, philosophy-wise, you'll probably see mostly zone in this situation. Zao steps into the throw. Shamari Buchanan has it for a first down. They'll stop the clock for a moment to move the chains. Out of the gun. Zao throws. Popped by McAdley. Can't get to the sideline. And the clock runs. Ed White followed him about a yard short of a first down to the 39. Two and a half minutes left. Tennessee leads by 14. You got to get try to get something down the middle of the field. Something that's going vertical down. Maybe one of the slot receivers against this Tennessee defense. Sean Bohannon has committed tailback. He makes the catch. And the Oak Ridge Tennessee native has a first down to the 42. Alabama at its own 42. Bohannon still in the game. Dow steps up, throws. The defender fell down. Buchanan the catch. First down. And they get the momentary stop of the clock to move the chains. It was Dwayne Goodrich who fell down. A few plays ago, Sean Alexander tried to run on. He took about three steps out of the field and went off. Hobbled off. Must convert situations. Zao throws incomplete. And Tennessee takes over on downs. They still have not allowed a, an opponent to convert on fourth down this year. Their opponents now 0 for 7 on fourth down. Out in the Midwest, Drew Brees and Purdue's in a very close game with Penn State. You've got to assume he's playing pretty well. Ron Dane ran for over 200 yards for Wisconsin in their big win against Michigan State. So I think all that happened today for Sean Alexander is he stayed right there in the pack. And a few streaks to talk about. This will be 16 straight wins for Tennessee against teams from the SEC West. It'll be Tennessee's 35th straight victory when the tailback rushes for 100 yards or more. And it'll be five wins in a row for Tennessee against Alabama for the first time in a long, historic rivalry between these two schools. Michelle DeFoya does confirm a sprained ankle for Sean Alexander. And a very disappointing day for the Crimson Tide. But perhaps a return to form for Jamal Lewis and the Tennessee offense in the second half. They yeah. really took over the game. They really did. They were more physical than Alabama in the second half. T. Martin made some plays. Jamal Lewis made plays. Impressive, impressive win by the Volunteers. And undoubtedly a happy Philip Fulmer is with Michelle Tafoya.